Welcome to the video by DJ's PRC Project Cherokee. We're at step two. We're grabbing these axles here and adding the supplied parts to make these guys work. This is going to be the front. Doesn't really matter which one you grab, the, of the two you just built, they're identical. Put this one aside. We're going to grab the physical knuckles, but you'll notice on the knuckles, when you grab them, they're uh, physically, there's two different ones. One has like a hump here. If you look on your manual, now sorry if it does, the light reflects on it. Unfortunately, I cannot do anything for the moment. Uh, that the one with the hump goes on your, when you're looking the vehicle, it goes on your left. And the other one goes on your right. Now, if we grab it, like they show in the book right here, this guy will go on this side here. And this guy will go on this side here. Now just make sure you put them equal when you do this. Okay. But before we put these guys in, we need to put our bearings. One goes here. And let's put this straight just by looking at this way. Pop that one off. Grab one of our bearings. And just make sure they're straight. If you look, it goes at the line. It's a line. Perfect. Now, uh, there's two screws hold these guys in. We have our screws here. And we need our two mil. Now, you can physically use a drill if you want to. Just make sure to use your clutch. Not to strip these plastic here. And we'll do both sides. This side will be... Here. Now, while I'm doing this, I would like to say this video is brought to you by Great Hobbies. Don't forget to... Take a look at their website, greathobbies.com. And now for some reason, this guy doesn't want to go in. Yeah. Weird. It's super weird. Oh, I know why. It was not pushed all the way in. There we go. If you're trying to put your screw in and it always wants to go on the side, make sure it's pushed in because the screw goes in the middle of the groove of your drive shaft or drive your your axles. Now we go now it's gonna go. There we go. Now like I was mentioning, this video is brought to you by Great Hobbies. Uh the link will be in the in the bottom here. Now we have our both set. Now we'll need to build our physical uh turning knuckles. Remove them from the casting. <clears throat> if you look at it, this is going to be your right. And this is going to be your left. Bigger bearing goes inside. Sometimes they're hard to put in. Do 
do the outside one. And for some reason, I don't know why, I'm having issues here. Let's see. They really don't want to go in. I might have grabbed the wrong bearings here. But by grabbing the book, they are the correct size. One thing you didn't know, every screw that you have in your book will match exact the same size you need to use. And this is the correct size of bearings. They really don't want to go in. <clears throat> I'm going to try to use the physical axle itself. Because I know they do fit on the axle. That way everything's going to align with the other axle. Other bearing should I say. There we go. For some reason, I'm not good to put bearings in. Go figure. Let's try the other one the same. Yes, there we go. They go in. I'm not going to, yep. Now making sure we place them the correct way they need to be placed. Grab our axle. They go in. You might need to wiggle them a bit to be able to turn. Make sure they're inserted completely. Do the same thing on the other side. There you go. Now in your kit, you'll see screws with flanges. You'll need to grab those guys too. And your two mil. And screw these guys in. You don't want to put them too tight, because if you do, you'll prevent them from turning. You want it tight enough, and you don't want it to be sticking out. Tighten this one in a bit. Always make sure to feel. What you could do is put one on each side. Preventing the other one from coming loose like it just did here. But I love sometimes to give myself headaches. Keeps me on my toes. Here we go. And I'll show you something here in a second. I'm gonna screw this guy in. <clears throat> I'm gonna do something on purpose here. I over tighten one, and this one here doesn't really want to come loose if you do this. This one has a little bit harder time. Bessie tells me that I over tighten these guys. Bring it loose a bit. See, it fell by itself. This is what you want. A sure, smooth operation. Put this guy aside for the moment. Let's do the back one. Same thing again. You have bearing on both sides. Make sure. And then you grab your rear lockouts, I think, if they're from here correctly, what they're called, are right here. And uh, yeah, see, not paying attention, the bearings, they don't even go where I put them. Let's remove these guys out of here.
grab your axle, pop in your axles. Grab your diff, insert them, keeping this straight. And you want your physical screw to be on the bottom going up, meaning it goes like this. Now, you could put this crooked if you want to. I'm going to try to put it straight as possible, just for look-wise. There we go. Pop this guy in too. And try to put them both pretty much equal. Grab your screws again. The book will tell you. If you put them in front of it, they'll be the same size. Now you want these guys solid enough, but not too solid. Try to pull on them, they don't come out. Now following the book here, the other step is to put your shock mounts on the physical diff case. That would be these guys here. If you grab our rear ones, put your diff like this. And you want your smaller holes to be on top. Kind of insert themselves. They'll hold themselves there until you put the screws. I'm about to put this one upside down. Take your front one. And the front is the same too. You grab your screws. Same thing again. Drill the easy end. Do all four, and we'll be able to jump to the other step. And in the meantime, I'm doing this. If you guys have any comment or question, post down below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. That's in the corner here. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to be notified next time I upload a video, there's the bell icon here. Just press on the bell icon. You'll be notified next time I upload a video. Thank you for watching. And again, this video is brought to you by Great Hobbies. Thank you for watching.